Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are going to look into what's coming in for the month of April. Now, April is going to be a very intense month energetically. Not only do we have Mercury retrograde starting on April 1st, we also have a full moon solar eclipse on April 8th, which everyone is talking about. Things may feel challenging, things may feel tense, things may feel a little bit chaotic, maybe even a little bit confusing. I challenge you, through this energy, if you feel any tension, if you feel any anxiety, worry, or fear, try and breathe through that. Allow those emotions to just move through you, okay? Ground yourself in the now, and just allow things to transpire, allow things to take place, accepting, accepting everything that comes at you through this energy. With the knowing and the intention that action is going to be taken in the right direction as soon as the energy shifts. So we're gonna dive right into Capricorn's energy for April going into May. We'll see what comes out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Capricorn spirit. What do my Capricorn friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. So definitely feel here, Capricorn, that you have your wall up. After somebody you may have betrayed your trust behind your back. Okay. We'll see how this plays out into the rest of the reading. King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This is very, very interesting here, Capricorn. I feel like there's a lot of hands in the pot, if that makes sense. There's a lot of people that have either gotten in your ear, gotten in your person's ear in regards to your guys' relationship. I also feel like there's more to this relationship than just romance. It's more than just a romance, romantic relationship. Even though there is romance involved, I feel like there is like a business partnership or business dealings mostly going on here. Okay. I also feel like your guys' backs are turned to one another at this time. Now, why is this coming up in this message? There's going to be an opportunity that's going to come in. And I feel like it's going to be in the month of May. And it's going to be one that is going to be a solid opportunity. You're going to be able to see it from the gate. But I feel like you're going to need your partner's help. So you and your partner being at odds is a problem. So let's start here, Capricorn. Let me straighten this out really quick. I'm going to start here by clarifying this King of Wands energy for Capricorn. This is the energy surrounding you, Capricorn. So I do feel like this is like, this is your vision. This is your dream. But I also feel here when it comes to a big vision or a big dream that we need a team of people. We need people that are going to help us along our path, that are going to help us accomplish these goals, these dreams, okay? And that is something that you're currently working towards, okay? I also feel like up to this point, up to you feeling betrayed by this person, things were going good. 
And then whatever transpired between the two of you made you feel some type of way. I do feel like there's something here that's getting in the middle of this. So let's clarify <clears throat> this Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn, the Empress, and the Chariot. You see, there's a lot of majors coming out with the clarifying deck, okay? So I feel like this is a major opportunity that's coming in. Now, I never recommend making major decisions through the Mercury retrograde. But when you're at odds with a person like this, and there's a blessing that's coming in for you, what's this is literally what's next. This is in the position of what's next, okay? Ace of Pentacles. So what's next is very strong blessings coming in for you, but you're going to need to be on the same page within your business partnership in order for things to work out in your favor. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands. There may be a need to release control, uh, compromise on some things. You, it can't always be one way, especially if you want this to work. If you see this working out for you, if you want this to work in your favor. I do feel like up to this point, you and this person have built a solid foundation. So it's not like this is the end all be all. It's more like your wall is up when it comes to this person because now you're not trusting what they're saying, what they're doing, how they're moving. And that's okay. That trust will be built back up in time I do feel like there is a need for you and this person to sit down and have a really straightforward, honest, practical conversation just about the books, about the business. If this at one point was a romantical relationship, try not to let that get in the way of having a strategic conversation. For some of you, there's two different groups of people. There are some of you that this is strictly business, but there are those of you that you did cross those lines with this person. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It is a thing, okay? But it does complicate things a little bit more, especially when there's challenges on the horizon. So what I recommend here, what's coming next, resolve. Okay, try to find a resolve with one another. Try to compromise. Try to focus on the blessings that are coming in and release the past. Five of Cups in the reverse. I definitely feel here, Capricorn, you're headed in a very positive direction. New blessings. Beautiful new beginnings coming in. Um, but you're going to have to let it go. It's like, let the heartache go, let the betrayal go for now, get to business. And then when the dust is settled, then see where the cards lie. So your advice, guidance moving forward here, Capricorn in this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals, ritual kits, and personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. King of Swords, Ace of Cups, Page of Swords. So, I definitely feel like there's a need to get out of your heart and look at this strategically right now you want to make a good impression put your best foot forward then you need to be on the same page with this person it may not be the easiest thing that you ever did in your life but i definitely feel here capricorn that it will be worth it acceptance i'm learning to accept the things that i cannot change Right now, your soul is learning acceptance. This may force you to feel out of control in a situation or with another person in your life. 
just realize that the universe has given you this incredible opportunity to release control. Perhaps doing so will help you to realize that there is a rhythm, a rhyme, or a reason to everything in life. Rather than thinking that these are accidents that are occurring, refer to these conditions as moments of divine design. Maybe it's a person or a situation that you do not agree with right now. For the moment, instead of having a knee-jerk reaction based on an emotional response, stop and take a step back to observe, and then make an attempt to understand both sides of the equation, which is an incredible gift for you to practice tolerance. Realize that although you have come to accept a situation or a condition, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're condoning a behavior or that you support it either. You see it for what it is, you recognize that it is something to learn from and move forward. Capricorn, I definitely feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you. There's something here that you're needing to resolve with another person at this time in order to have the proper support that you need to accumulate these blessings. With the understanding that sometimes people are meant to be in our life for a season and some people are meant to be in our life for a lifetime. And this person may be one of those seasonal type of people, but right now, Capricorn, you need their help. So compromising and coming to terms, accepting, will help you move through this with a little bit more grace. And again, with the understanding that this is a stepping stone to get to the next phase where you need to be. Capricorn, I definitely feel like that's a good solid message coming out. I hope the message was helpful for you. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.